Welcome to LEO, the Landscape Evolution Observatory. That's a big name for a big experiment. In fact, LEO is the biggest earth science experiment ever built, and it's all taking place at the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2, a world-renowned facility for earth science research. Earth science is the study of how our earth systems work and interact, systems like the water cycle, and the carbon cycle, and the energy cycle. There are so many parts to earth science and so many scientists who study the different parts, but all of them, from scientists who study geology to water to ecosystems, have realized that each of these systems is deeply entwined with the others. To understand how our natural world works, we need to study how all the systems and cycles dynamically interact. LEO will make it possible to measure those complex interactions like never before. To create LEO, we'll build three giant hill slopes in the controlled environment of Biosphere 2 and fill them with a soil made of crushed volcanic rock that has almost no organic content. Then, as rain falls and plants grow, we will monitor the water and chemistry and biology to give precise data on how the complex and dynamic earth systems evolve and affect each other. Sensors are like a lot of other things with technology. They're getting smaller, they're getting cheaper, they're getting easier to use. So we have this ability nowadays to, to put literally hundreds to thousands of sensors together to measure things very densely and network them together such that we have this huge data set. A good way to understand LEO is to look at the natural world around us. When it rains on the slope of a hill, some of the water collects in streams and flows into rivers. Some is used by plants, and some sinks deep into the soil to fill underground aquifers. People all over the globe depend on aquifers for their water supply. LEO will enable us to precisely measure that process, to see how much water goes into the system, how it moves through the soil and the plants, and how it comes out, so we can understand how water travels through landscapes. But more than that, we'll be able to see how a landscape transforms or evolves from bare rock to a living ecosystem. When the Earth first formed about 4.5 billion years ago, it was just a big hot ball of rock with no life on it. Think of Venus or Mars. Then, as the Earth cooled, clouds formed and rains created the oceans. About 4 billion years ago, the first life appeared. Life in the form of microorganisms changed everything on the planet from the atmosphere to the rocks to the oceans. Earth's systems evolved from rock to life over billions of years. The landscape we see around us has been transformed by water and by life over millions of years. In LEO, we're making a working model of our natural world. We'll see how water and life will change ground up rock into an organic soil over the span of 10 years, we'll see how the landscape evolves. And it will all happen in a controlled environment, so we can closely monitor and understand the transitions. We'll see how energy from the sun and water moving through the landscape and carbon in the soil and in plants and in the atmosphere all interact and influence each other. It is those interactions that make our Earth systems work and make life on Earth possible. For Earth scientists, LEO will provide a foundation of knowledge upon which they can build new knowledge and new discoveries. As our climate changes and our world heats up, our water and soil and agricultural resources will change too, and we need to be prepared. The new knowledge from LEO will help us make smart, informed decisions that will lead us to a prosperous and sustainable future.